A boy can like dolls, pink, have long hair, and still not need to be trans. Yes, gender roles don't determine gender, and a trans woman is still a woman even if she doesn't like those things. Glad we can all agree on something. <laughs> it is true though, gender roles don't determine gender. You can be things and be a different gender to those how those things are normally perceived. It really, it really doesn't matter. It really does not. Special thank you to my YouTube members and patrons for supporting the channel and supporting my content. How's it going everybody and welcome back to another subreddit video. Today we are going to be once again returning to r slash accidental ally, the home of transphobes just really being bad at the only thing they've got. It's it's always embarrassing. It's always embarrassing and sad. <laughs> Before we begin I just quickly wanted to mention that as always I will be streaming on Thursday at 7pm UK time so if you want to come check out a stream with me in it, I, I said that weirdly, I'll be live anyway uh, or equally I upload the videos uh, the next day to Blue the Nerd Live, my YouTube channel, so you can catch it all there. But do come along, it's always a good time. Other than that, let's get into the subreddit, shall we? You're so handsome. You don't care that I'm a trans dude? I'm gay, not dick sexual. And then they keys. Facts, cause trans men are biological men who pretend to be females. They are still men as they will always be, but they have the mental illness where they want to be the opposite sex so then they get trans. The trans man is a biological man who pretends to be a woman, right on. Yes, trans men are men. Again, I'm glad we could agree on something. Trans men, especially trans men who haven't come out yet, are men pretending to be women. I'm glad we could all agree on something. And Following on with that, and also the dick sexual thing, you don't date trans women, but I was born this way. And then he goes, me too. And just, <laughs> I've got so many things to say about this, but the first thing I really have to say is that transphobes regularly use this like, ah, oh, I don't sleep with trans women thing as like some gotcha, as if like any self-respecting trans person would date a transphobe knowingly. Like it's not a big gotcha, trans people don't want to date transphobes but also it's fine to have preferences like genital preference is a thing it's a thing it exists you can have genital preferences you can have preferences on how people identify based on gender those things don't always have to line up preferences exist you know people have preferences with hair color but the problem is when you start saying that people shouldn't be trans people should be allowed to be trans and they should be allowed to hit on people and they should be allowed to be rejected. The fact that you're making a big deal out of something that nobody is actually making a big deal out of is the problem. And following on from what I've just said, a t-shirt that says, sorry, I don't date Republicans. That's okay because we conservatives don't date women with penises. It's funny to me how you were trying to be transphobic, but you just accidentally acknowledged women can have dicks. And yeah, like, again, transphobes don't... <laughs> trans people don't want to date transphobes. So it's not a big gotcha to be like, ah, I don't date women with dicks because they wouldn't have given you the chance to begin with. It's not a choice to not date a woman with a penis if a woman with a penis wouldn't have given you a chance anyway. Anyway, it's like saying you're boycotting a restaurant that you've never ever been to because you don't agree with their political views. My pronouns are You have exactly 10 seconds to get the f*** off my meme page. He man. He man. He f***ing man. He literally can't introduce himself without telling you his pronouns, you idiots. There's so many ways to uh, to view the original meme though. Like there's, there's so many ways to go into this because first of all, Skeletor's a villain. So the people that make made this meme agree that they identify as the villains here, that they are the bad guys. But also, the way I originally interpreted this before I read the response and found out that this was posted on a transphobic page, is that Skeletor here is just mad at He-Man who was about to do another like, Ugh, my pronouns are toaster and attack helicopter because those, those jokes are so old and played out that like, good god they are boring. <laughs> That's what I thought the meme was originally about that Skeletor was just so done with those memes but to find out that they're just trying to get rid of people who use pronouns everybody uses pronouns <laughs> but yeah he's literally called he man like <laughs> uh, I realized I'm gay today you're not gay dude go find a girl 
she is a girl. Oh, uh, the jokes write themselves. <laughs> but also, t telling a gay person, a gay assuming this even was a gay man, like pretending that for a second, telling a gay man that they're not gay, they just need to find a woman, as if like they've just never considered that. Just like, ah, I'm, I'm gay. No, you're not. Just go find a woman. Wait, that was an option? This whole... <laughs> It's so stupid. It's so stupid. You realize that the majority of gay people have been through a lot of self-searching to discover they're gay. A lot of, hmm, I'm not attracted to women. I'm not attracted to the same kinds of people that my friends are. Something's different here, you know? This is a thing they've been through. <laughs> As a trans man, I can say being sh talked about while you're still in the same room still happens. You will never be a woman! Yeah, they're a trans man. Thank you and good night. I, I just don't, I, how have they still not learned in this day and age? It's trans man, therefore they are a man. If you were trying to be transphobic, you would say you will never be a man. They can't do the one thing that they have going correctly. They had a 50% chance here. They had two options, woman or man. They always go with those two options and they always get it wrong. I don't understand how they are batting so severely under the average. <laughs> Muslim astronaut offers Salah in space. Astronaut praying in space. Space is fake. NASA is a scam. Muslims believing in space are stupid as LGBTQ. There is no space or NASA theory in the Quran. So people believing in space are as stupid as LGBT. Which is funny because space is real and the people who believe in space are not stupid. Which means that LGBT is not stupid. I'm glad we could all come to the same conclusion. <laughs> you will never be a- What? You will never be a woman. Thanks for validating my gender. <laughs> they had a 50%. The original message they didn't even specify. Just you will never be a, huh? Woman? No, you, you almost, almost. You were so close, <laughs> so close. <laughs> You're the one who brought it up. Is it finding dresses to fit over your bollocks? Trouble finding foundation that covers a beard? What? I'm trans mask. <laughs> <laughs> also, trouble finding foundation that covers a beard. I, I know that I might not, you know, exactly be an expert on the concept, but I'm gonna introduce you to something that, that you know, a lot of trans women do. It's called shaving. <laughs> do I need to, do I need to elaborate? <laughs> also, finding dresses that cover bollocks, again, like there's so many things that, that prevent that being an issue, like tucking tape, the, the correct underwear. I'm just saying, is is not is not difficult. It's not. And the final post. This is a good one because it's actually good news, and conservatives didn't realize the good news. Breaking: Kentucky bans conversion therapy for minors. Thank you for protecting our children. Conversion therapy is not what you think it is. It prohibits people from trying to un-LGBT their children through discussion. Please stop spamming this. It makes you look dumb. I'm sorry, Great Bowser, but they are dumb. <laughs> but it's a good thing that we're banning conversion therapy. That's a good thing because it is a horrible traumatizing event that is forced upon children by religious zealots who think that, ah, oh, my children is gay or trans. God hates them now, which is a fucking despicable thing to believe and I don't understand how anybody could believe that about their child or their god. <laughs> but yes, it's a good thing that Kentucky has banned conversion therapy. And no, it isn't Kentucky banning people from being trans. <laughs> but they'll keep on spreading it like, whoa, they're protecting our children, which they are, but not for the reasons that they think. Ha! <sighs> and that's where I'm going to end the video, everybody. <laughs> I hope you have enjoyed. Oh boy. As always, if you would like to support me in making more content like this, then I have a Patreon in in the description down below or equally you can click on that join button on the channel to support me it helps a lot more than you might realize but by no means should you feel like you have to i'm going to keep making content regardless a huge massive special thank you to all of the youtube members and patrons that do support the channel all of you are amazing wonderful people and it genuinely helps so so much what do you think of this shirt by the way i i actually really like it i literally bought this for a pirate costume that i'm gonna be wearing at work but i actually really like it and i'm just gonna be wearing this shirt as a shirt sometimes so what do you guys think? I like it. If you don't like it, I don't care. <laughs> and that's where I'm going to end the video, everybody. <sighs> I hope you have enjoyed. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Peace out.